Thoughts on the draw and you know, heading to Arkansas and starting off with the with Richard Tassi? I think anytime you hear your name for postseason softball, it's it's a big win for the team and the school and we're excited. I mean, we talked all year about a faceless opponent, and I think you see the teams that focus on themselves go further in postseason than the teams that focus on their opponents. So that's what we're trying to do. When you immediately, but just I'm assuming you know that you have the nation's leader in batting average and home runs in, in Wichita State, and as a catcher, that's obviously a huge part of your role is making sure they don't live up to that. How exciting is that kind of a challenge for you, as a you know, for your for the role that you play to? basically try to nullify what they are bringing to the table. Yeah, I think our pitchers have been on a hot streak the past couple weeks, and it's only up for here, from here, and um, I'm excited to see what they do with hitters such as the one you're speaking of, and I think it's going to be a really fun regional. Uh, having that experience from last year, what do you tell some of the younger players that – uh, they, they can possibly take in going into this regional. Yeah, I think all year we've been talking about what the Texas Regional did for us as a program, and we've been trying to replicate that every weekend. And I think this team is battle tested, and we don't refer to the freshmen as freshmen anymore. So I think just letting them know to take it one game at a time and enjoy it. But other than that, I think our freshmen are elite, and they're going to handle their own out there. So. Having already experienced the regional last year, what is this week of preparation going to look like for you ramping up for this weekend? Yeah, I think we're going to have two really good days of practice at home and then two days of practice on the road, and it's going to go by fast. That's all I remember from last year is it goes by fast, but once you step on the field Friday, it is what it is, and hopefully you did what you needed to do during the week. Is it extra time in every category, on the field, in the film room, scouting, everything like that? Yeah, I can guarantee you at least – Half of our team is probably watching film right now. And that's just that's just who we are. So, yeah, I think just doing the extra on your own, but also taking the time you have with the coaches very seriously and using it to your advantage. One of the things that the team has tried to do is get all three cylinders working at the same time, you know, having two out of three kind of misfiring. Um, along those lines, how do you feel like the team is having this week preparation, kind of extra week of preparation going in? You guys ready to go? Yeah, I think... In addition to this week, the past two weeks of pack, you really saw all three cylinders firing, and we continue that through practice, and we got to bet on each other and bet on ourselves this week instead of, you know, focusing on an opponent. So that was really, really nice to be able to focus on those three cylinders rather than somebody else. One of the, one of the cylinders pitching, uh, it seemed like the last couple of weeks, the staff as a, as a whole, um, you know, individually sometimes someone would, would step up, but the staff as a whole seemed to step up. Uh, you know, even Jordan coming back and kind of uh, shutting down when she was called upon. Uh, what are your thoughts about having everyone kind of firing at optimum? Uh, yeah, I think that's something that nobody has seen this year from us yet. So I think it's going to be kind of a shock and refreshing. And they've been working really hard in the pen with Coach Lombardi. And this week at practice, you saw a whole new staff. And I think that's going to show up this weekend. And it's going to be fun to see it all working together finally. I realize you didn't catch Stevie a ton before the hand injury, so it's been mainly since you've returned, um, but how have you seen her game evolve or improve over the course of the season where I realized that you know, when Brooke went down that basically that this season in a large way was about, yes, winning as much as possible, put yourselves in the best position, but ultimately developing the staff to be ready for this time, and she was going to be a huge factor in that. So how have you seen her ready herself now to where, all right, it's, it's time for her to go out there potentially three straight days and, and win you guys a weekend so you can play next weekend? I think that's been Stevie's MO ever since she stepped foot on campus. I think she's been a baller, and I see a lot of Brooke in her, which is really nice because I think we have a very similar connection as Brooke and I do. And Stevie's, Stevie's a baller. There's not much else to say. She's going to go out there, and she's going to put in the work, and I love catching behind Stevie. Does she have as many routines and regiments as Brooke? <laughs> Nobody can live up to Brooke's routine. <laughs> you can quote me on that. <laughs> Uh, your team has won uh, five out of six heading into this. Uh, how can you carry some of that momentum over to this particular region? And what, what do you feel like your team is at right now currently? Yeah, I think, again, just seeing the cylinders all fire together the past couple of weeks um, really sets us in a good spot going into regionals. And we have quite literally been betting on ourselves and each other at practice. And, again, as long as we stick with our plan and in our bubble, we're going to be really successful and have a really great trip. One of the things about Arkansas that we've noticed is the uh, fan base. It's, it's a very large capacity stadium, probably going to be sold out. Uh, so what do you think about being able to play in uh, a stadium that's going to have full capacity, not all rooting for the Ducks? Yeah, I think with 
schedules we've had in the past, you know, going to Oklahoma State, going to Texas, going to some big stadiums, a lot of us veterans have that experience. And again, the freshmen are battle tested that I'm not worried about them at all. And I think the Jane is electric and whether you're in a stadium rooting for you or against you, you can feel the energy either way. So I think it's going to be a fun atmosphere. Don't have a lot of West Coast kids, but there's a couple of California players, I think, on the Arkansas roster. So do you happen to know any of them? Like, yeah, uh, Danielle Gibson and I played together a little bit in travel ball in uh, Arizona State, so I'm excited to see her. Congratulations on the uh, Pac-12 first team, especially yeah. having only played about half the season. What, what does that mean to you to get honored like that? Yeah, I think um, I've said this before, but the team did an amazing job keeping me involved during my injury, and I think being able to come back and just – step into a lineup of veterans, whether they were freshmen, returners, or transfers, was really refreshing. And I think having the lineup we had made me a lot less stressed and be able to kind of just compete at my, my own pace. Do you feel like with the batting protection behind you, you're more comfortable in the box? Yeah, I think we have a stellar lineup. I think it's pick your poison. And at any point, anyone in that lineup can go yard. So I love our lineup. And I think we're going to continue to excel in postseason. What are you most excited for? I mean, all, all the obvious ones, but what, what are you most excited for going here this week? I'm excited to have a full circle moment with version one, plus um, obviously the newbies. We were speaking earlier, Jazz has never been to postseason, so I'm really excited to see that and just all the hard work we put in this year and all the adversity we faced really just come through for us.